the whole process of getting audience feedback was very helpful. Um, I sent out a questionnaire um, when I first started the kind of thought process, and um, uh, two of the questions that were probably the most helpful answers I got back were what makes your favourite film scary and what do you expect to see in a horror film? Now, what makes it scary um, came up with some good answers. I mean, there was sudden sound, unexpected ha things happening, um, an audience can see what's, what's about to happen but uh, the character can't, um, point of view shots, some quick action, um, some loads of different camera angles, stuff like that. And one, you know, the sudden sound one really kind of um, backed up what I, I kind of already found out through my text analysis is that sudden like sound is used to accompany um, the character of the antagonist appearing um, which makes it scary and that's why I conclude from the textual analysis and this um, the questionnaire has then backed up that and further reinforced that that's, that's a strong convention that I really should definitely abide by that. The point of view shots is something that I looked at and well yeah I'd definitely like to do that now because before I wasn't quite sure about whether to include it or not. I quite like the idea of it, um, but now again, once I got the audience feedback um, saying that they actually thought it really made it scary, then I then decided that yeah, I would try to include a point, at least one or two point of view shots um, within the trailer. Um, quick action is again something that reinforced what I'd already found out. Um, obviously, I found out that quick cuts were really um, effective and conventional within um, the horror teaser trailers that I'd uh, looked at, and so it's glad to, I'm glad to see that the audience um, identify that it, it's quick action they identify that that's what's making it scary um, and so then I just need to kind of include that in mine and it'll kind of have the same kind of effect and then the other question you know what do you expect to see in a horror film helped again to identify what the conventions were kind of further um, broaden my knowledge of them um, some of them were they range from blood gore suspense isolated characters fast moving scenes um, scary characters, murder, darkness, um, expecting something to happen. Um, now, again, there's kind of a kind of a spectrum. Here. You've got blood and gore, um, which obviously I found out way back in my audience research that um, it is kind of some people prefer that and other people prefer psychological horror. But on a whole, psychological horror tends to be a lot more effective, and blood and gore can be very difficult to make scary and can be quite funny and so I kind of quickly dismissed those answers I wasn't going to I wasn't going to take those in I didn't want to use those um, but isolated characters is something that I really kind of jumped on I thought okay that's 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 a really good idea if I can make my um glamorous protagonist um isolated on her own then it'd be more scary and more you'd be more sympathetic towards her um so that's what I done I, I it's just her in the house on her own until the antagonist came um Violence was another one, which um, is kind of briefly shown in the trailer. Um, shows that there's, there's conflict between the two. Um, darkness is another one that I found in my conventions originally, and is further backed up now in my questionnaire. Um, so as a whole, I think the questionnaire was really helpful, uh, just to start, just to get me going, really. Audience feedback was very important in my project to make it the best it can possibly be. Um, because at the end of the day, um, it's my target audience that know what they want to see and so their feedback is really useful. Um, after my first rough cut of my teaser trailer uh, my target audience concluded that there wasn't enough pace um, and there wasn't really enough action to really engage the audience. Um, they liked they liked the idea but there wasn't um, enough shots, it was all too slow um, it was good in building up suspense but then there was not enough action to then counteract that suspense and make you know really engage the audience. Um, and so I went. And I acted on this by um, uh, storyboarding some more shots because I realised needed more shots in order to create more pace. Um, went out and filled them, and then pop, popped them in my um, footage, and it seemed to make the uh, pace a lot better. After I'd done this, I I produced my second rough cut and got my audience back in, and they said they really liked the new shots. They really liked it, but there just wasn't enough pace still. Like they liked the new shots, but it didn't make it any kind of quicker as such. Um, and so, in order to create more pace, it was, I managed to cut out about 25 seconds worth of, fit, worth of footage by slicing the um, each clip in in half. About um, made everything so much quicker and more fast-paced, um, tackling that pace problem. Um, also, they said the titles gave way too much. 
So I completely replaced them with she will not forget in between the foot, which has more of an impact. The last rough cut that I done um, it was actually too fast according to my target audience. Um, I got them back again and they said um, like they, they think it's a lot better but it's just a bit too fast and you need some scene in the middle that's um, a little slower so it builds up more suspense and then goes straight back into action again. Um, so I acted on that by slowing down the wardrobe scene um, which was then before it was only a couple of, like a couple of seconds longer than it got well I lengthened it to about four or five. It might not sound much but it really does slow down the pace and um, as a whole I mean that that audience feedback there helped my production a lot because it went from being really slow paced and not much action going on to really quick fast paced lots of quick cuts in there and had a lot of kind of a big impact on the audience and so you know without it, it wouldn't wouldn't be as good as it is. I also got some audience feedback on my poster. Um, to my surprise, they they actually really really liked it. Um, so I got them in um, just to take a, look, a quick look at the poster, and all of them said they really really liked it. The billing block looked pretty professional. The images, the image was edited very well, and they said the uh, the, the red and white black, um, red white and the black worked really well together. Made it quite dark and sinister. And the only thing they weren't sure about was the jet black background. Um, they thought it might have might should maybe put a filter on it and make it look a bit different, maybe look a bit more mysterious. And so I asked them just to stay whilst I tinkered with it and played around with it a bit more um, for about 10 minutes. But after I changed it a bit more, and they actually decided they preferred the jet black. And so I left it like that.